The Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Pod Breed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. There are over 2 million podcasts, but how many of those can massage the mind, elevate the senses, take you to another plateau? Allow me to introduce you to Drea's Point of View, the 10 minute or less podcast that brings you observations and experiences from her perspective. Did you know that your toes and feet can tell a lot about your personality? I didn't until I came across a few articles. Some co-workers were talking about feet and how people don't mind putting their feet on everything. So I thought I would look into that a little further and what I found out may interest you. I am Drea, the hostess of Drea's Point of View. And I would love it if you would follow me on Twitter at Drea Point and on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Clubhouse at Drea's Point of View. According to DavidWolf.com, if your big toe is on the big side like mine, you are creative, but you're not big on focusing. If your big toe is small, you are a multitasker. I'm both. If your second toe is long, then you're on the bossy side. If it's small, then you're easygoing. Your third toe, if that's long, that means that you have willpower and are strong. If it's short, you're more relaxed. If your fourth toe is curled, you have problems with your family life. If it is relaxed, then family is important to you. If your pinky toe's nail is sideways, then you are rebellious and your focus isn't as intense. Jane Sheehan says people with high arches are typically independent and self-sufficient almost to the point of being antisocial. Those of you with low arches are associated with those being more social and outgoing. Your foot width says a lot about you as well. Those with wider feet are likely restless and you're constantly moving and preoccupied. If you have narrow, long feet, then you're the opposite. You're slow, and you're usually the last person out of your friends to get ready. There's definitely an exception to every rule because I have narrow feet, and I'm usually the first out of my friends to be ready. According to apost.com, there's also the shape of your feet. If you have Egyptian feet, you do not necessarily reveal your inner thoughts. You like to keep things to yourself. It takes someone very special to convince you to get your to let your guard down. The peasant's foot is the rarest. It's when all your toes are the same length. Those people tend to be extremely practical and reasonable. You are the type of person who always weighs the pros and cons before you make a decision. If you have an immovable little toe, you are probably a workaholic. You are passionate about what you do and you become addicted to achieving your goals. You have a very little toe. You are known to be a trend center, and you like to forge your own path. You like to take the road less traveled and do things your own way. The Roman foot is the most common type of foot. It's characterized by the first three lines forming a straight line, followed by the other two in descending order. People with this type of foot are likely to be loyal and charismatic. If you have the Egyptian foot shape, you are likely to be mysterious and secretive. Feel free to go to apost.com for more information about your personality. My quote of the day is an Irish proverb. Your feet will bring you to where your heart is. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and show so you can be up to date on my episodes. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for listening to Drea's Point of View. Remember to subscribe to this female-hosted podcast. Drea's Point of View is now available on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah.